Hi, I'm Tim Preby with TNS Web Design in Oklahoma City. Now that we've learned how to insert and edit images in our WordPress page, let's look at how to actually insert galleries. Let's create a new page for our gallery. From the back end of our website, we'll go to Pages and then Add New. Of course, you can also insert a gallery into an existing page as well. We'll go ahead and type in Gallery. And then we can actually insert the gallery wherever we want to on the page. We'll put some descriptive text at the top and then click on Add Media. We'll select Files and then add some images here. Of course, it'll take a moment for all the images to upload. Once all those images have uploaded, we'll go ahead and click on the Save All Changes button at the bottom. At this point, we'll actually want to select the order that the photos appear in. And so if you scroll down to the bottom, you can actually order them by menu order, title, date, or random. If you pick menu order, which is the default, you want to make sure that you have numbers actually in here. So we'll go ahead and add our numbers in there and we'll click on save all changes. But of course we could have ordered them in a different order as well. Now one at a time you'll want to click on show and go and actually update the title so that it looks how you want it to. The title will be visible by someone looking at your gallery. Once you've done that on all the images, uh, you can also go through and enter in a caption and optionally a description, both of which may appear on your site depending on your site settings. We'll just edit that one and then click on Save All Changes. Now we're ready to actually insert the gallery into our page. You may want to select image file or you may want to select attachment page as the place your thumbnails link to. Most of the time you'll want attachment page uh, but that may not always be the case depending on how you like it to look. We'll go and select menu order and order images by. Now depending on your site's setup, the actual theme, gallery columns may not do anything at all. We'll go ahead and leave it set to 4 for this example, but you may not even need to worry about that. I'm going to click Insert Gallery, and then I'll go ahead and preview my new gallery page. And here I can click on the image, and you can see my, particularly, my particular website has the settings to click on Next Image. And you can see right here the name of the image. And then let's go ahead and add in. Let's go ahead and add in a caption for the Sandler Training newsletter here. We'll go ahead and click on the gallery, and then click on this button in the top left to actually edit the gallery. Again, we'll click on Show, and under Description, we'll put this is an email newsletter. We'll put some other text too. We'll scroll down and click on Save All Changes and see what that looks like. So we can see now underneath we have this text that we entered in. If we wanted to, we could also change this to an image file and click on Update Gallery Settings and then click Preview again. And you can see now it just opens the actual image. Now your site may be set up so that when you set it to open the file and you click that it actually opens up 
uh, pops up in a nice looking box uh, with an X up at the top instead. This particular site is not set up that way, so you'll want to play around with the settings some. If you're ready to remove the gallery for any reason, you just go up here and click on Delete Gallery. Although WordPress does support multiple galleries per page, it's unfortunately not extremely easy to actually create those galleries. You can see that we inserted a gallery, and if we insert a gallery again, it contains the same exact images. Now let's say we actually want to exclude one of these images. Let's say we want to exclude this first image. Well, when we click on it, we see what picture that is. We'll actually go ahead and go in here. And we need to change this back to order by menu order. And if you click on HTML, you can see that it has those settings actually in this short code. Now it gets a little complicated, but you can exclude a specific image. In a new tab here, I'm going to open up the media library. And we see that that APC image we want to exclude is right here. Well, if we click on that image from the media library, we can scroll up here and you'll see as part of this long complicated address there's a number in this case that says 225. Well if we switch back over here to our pages edit screen and we're on the HTML view we can actually hit space exclude equals and then in parentheses put 225. Let's double check and make sure that was the right number 225 and then we can click on preview again. And you can see now that image is no longer included. We can actually set up a separate gallery underneath, but let's first exclude another image. We'll go ahead and exclude this second image as well, and we can see that its number, of course, is 226. So actually, inside the quote marks here, we'll put a comma 226. We'll preview this, and we can see that that image is gone as well. Now let's go ahead and copy this whole short code, and we're going to type in another gallery, and we'll paste that short code in again underneath, although this time we'll change exclude to include. Now you can't do both an exclude and an include. So you could have several galleries on there that include only specific images or that include all except specific images. So we have one that includes these images and then the next one, or excuse me, one that excludes and then one that includes. So let's click on preview. And you can see now that we do have two separate galleries in a row. Thanks for watching, and in our next video, we'll look at linking emails and files in your WordPress pages and blog posts. Remember, if you're a TNS client, you can give us a call to schedule your Q&A training session at 405-285-0348.